Hey everybody, how you doing today? Ram and Jet here. This is day 32 out of 90 straight videos I'm putting up for you today. Um, if you saw number 31, definitely check that out. It was about the three C's, um, condemning, criticizing, or complaining, and then actually turned it on to internal use. I really kind of like that one, so definitely check it out. But today I would like to talk about the difference between action and reaction. And this is still deriving from the book, Cycle Cybernetics. So I just wanted to kind of bring it down to layman's terms of something you can hopefully understand and relate to your everyday situations. So, the whole action and reaction. So many times we get tense throughout our day, regardless of what your job may be. You could have a manual labor job, you could have a desk job in a cubicle. But we all find things that we react badly to. We find a certain level of stress find it tense and then we end up being so much more mad at the end of the day all because of reactions of certain situations. Allow me to give you a couple examples. Maybe you're someone who works in a cubicle and you have a partner in that cubicle that always asks for your stapler, always wants to talk about random stuff while you're trying to get some work done. Before you respond next time they call your name, hey, whatever your name is, give yourself a moment. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth even to the point that they may actually have to say your name twice and relax. Why? Because so many times you tense up, you relax because you assume you know what they're going to say, you think it's going to be something annoying. You never know. You've already done two or three different reactions before they even say what's on their mind. So you're already tense. So how can you possibly have a clear thought to answer the question correctly when you've already gotten mad and already gotten upset before they even said anything? So allow yourself to have that moment. For example, maybe you answer phones for a living. Before that phone, as that phone rings, of course, unless there's someone who says, oh, you gotta answer the phone before that third ring, because I've heard people who have that type of strict ordinance, they can't let the phone ring a couple of times. If that's not your situation, try this one as well. Let the phone ring two, three times, because a lot of times you may have your boss calling you, you stress out, and you jump to the phone, and next thing you know, you're tense, you feel bad, you're already going through so many different up and downs emotions before you even pick it up the phone. So next time the phone rings, give yourself a moment. Breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth. And allow that phone to even sometimes hang up. You can always call that person right back. It won't be a life or death situation. Relax throughout the day. Just understand that if you can then think properly, you know, you will be able to get better results. Can you be relaxed when you have your shoulders like this? Oh, this is real. No, you can't. But your body will do that as you feel tense about something that's coming to you that you feel that emotion towards. So just allow yourself to go through the day, be more relaxed, and regardless of what's tensing you up, try to give it a delay response. Do not jump at the doorbell if you feel like you're waiting for a UPS man. Do not jump at the phone when the phone rings and you feel like it's your boss because you're waiting for that particular phone call. And if it's that annoying person that you normally find bothersome throughout the day, relax before you ever respond. And you'll be surprised because you will have a clear mindset to be able to answer the question properly without even getting tense and upset before you even know what the obstacle or opportunity may actually be in front of you. This is just my thought of the day. I'm Raman Jet. This is video number 32 out of 90. I approve this message, and I'll see you next time. Peace.